Hi Sagittarius, this is Power and Light Tarot. Thanks for coming to my channel today. I'm here to bring you your love reading for the month of February 2019. This is going to be what other true intentions in love with you. And um, yeah, I am going to be going over to Vimeo in the second half of the reading to talk about the challenge, what they are hiding, what they are fearing, the best case scenario for you and your person and their true intentions in love with you. Okay, guys? So the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius, is the Page of Wands and the Page of Cups. There could be an apology that is coming to you or that is being made here. I also feel like the with the Page of Wands that somebody is taking a new direction here. It can be like a new start, a new path, okay? But um, a new direction in life, okay? That's how I'm looking, seeing this, all right? Your current energy is the Seven of Wands, Sagittarius. Past energy is the Nine of Pentacles. You are seeing them as the Knight of Swords. Their current energy is the Ten of Swords. Their past energy is the Queen of Cups. How they are seeing you is the Three of Swords, ouch. And the Four of Wands is showing up in the situation, okay? So let's get started here, Sagittarius. I feel like, you know... Your current energy is that I feel like you're trying you're trying to defend yourself in a situation with somebody because you wanted fairness, okay? You could have also wanted a long-term union with them with the Ten of Pentacles. You wanted stability with them, all right? You wanted justice and balance and stability, and I think you were fighting for that, okay? I think that's what's going on right now or that is the, you know, the current theme here, okay? Now, your past energy is the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is here again. I feel like in the past, you know, you took a new direction for yourself and you, you know, set out to create abundance for yourself, all right? To have money and just be independent, okay? Be single here, okay? Now, how you're seeing them is the Knight of Swords with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor, I feel like, you know, you're seeing them as, you know, maybe cutting something out in their life. Okay, that could be the case here. You could also be seeing them as, you know, a bit dry and, you know, their approach is just kind of, you know, rushing in and not having a lot of patience, just kind of really direct here. I feel like you are dealing with uh, an earth sign here, uh, Sagittarius, and I feel like in the past you, you know, you have been dealing with one in many of the readings here. The Hermit card is also down here, all right, as is the Queen of Pentacles over here, which can talk about Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, right? I feel like you are seeing them as possibly cutting something out here, um, and that they are the Emperor, um, meaning that they are, you know, they could be a bit controlling here, okay? Or possibly just trying to, you know, run the show in a situation, okay? Now, their current energy is the Ten of Swords here. So I feel like they've gone through some, you know, some backstabbing or some real pain here, okay? It is over, um, you know, but they are feeling kind of like the, you know, the ending or, you know, the, maybe the after effects here. Also, I feel like, you know, this could have been a third party here. We have the Three of Swords here. I feel like it was. Uh, and the Five of Swords is here now. I feel like they could be feeling defeated here. Um, after some betrayal, possibly, and also they are feeling, you know, I feel like they are feeling a soulmate here in a situation. Wow, they could be feeling defeated here about a soulmate, possibly because they put ten swords in somebody's back here. They could have uh, had these put in their back here. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, Sagittarius, has done this, okay? Now, their past energy is the... Queen of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is what I mean. We have Pentacles here, the King of Pentacles. Um, we also have the Ten of Pentacles here, but uh, more important is the Hermit and the King and Queen of Pentacles showing up in your in your reading, all right? These court cards, right? Um, with the Major Arcana Virgo over here, the Hermit. Um, I feel like they're in the past. In the past, they were the Queen of Pentacles. They are the Queen of Pentacles showing up in their past energy for uh, many of you. And they saw value in a, in a water sign, all right? A Pisces, uh, Cancer, or Scorpio. 
that could be the case here because I do have the, you know, High Priestess uh, showing up in, you know, in the uh, extended here. Um, but I feel like in the past they saw, they saw the value here or they wanted a new start possibly. But I feel like they just saw, you know, something really good and like stable with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, the Queen of Cups here, okay? They're seeing you... Sagittarius is the Three of Swords. They're seeing you as heartbroken. They could be seeing you as, you know, part of a third party. Uh, I feel like where they have put you in, okay? This Five of Swords energy, going back to their current energy, they could be, you know, feeling that this is another way to see this. And this is, you know, they could be feeling, you know, maybe defeat here, or they could be feeling that they, you know, have these ten swords in their back because they were playing mind games with a soulmate. This could have been the person they were with before. This could be you, all right, that they were playing mind games with, um, and they're feeling this situation. That is what is currently affecting them, all right? And um, they're seeing you as the Three of Swords, uh, Sagittarius. They're seeing you, I feel like, as possibly heartbroken here, or as part of a third party here, all right? And oh, just so you know, this Five of Swords next to the Ten of Swords, this is uh, third party energy, okay, with the three people on the card here um, in many cases here. I also feel like they could have been playing mind games, as I mentioned here, because they are seeing you as, you know, excuse me, having this Three of Swords energy you're in the reverse, Sagittarius. How dare they? With the Queen of Wands in the reverse, all right? Um, and um, it, it may not be funny, Sagittarius. Okay, I'm a Sagittarius, all right? So just so you guys know. <laughs> but um, they're seeing you as, you know, either being in a heart, heartbroken or, you know, being in a third party. I feel like they're definitely seeing you as heartbroken because you're in the reverse, all right? But they are seeing you either as their star or you are having hope about a situation here. I feel like they are seeing you as their star, though, and that they have put you in this third party. And this is why you are in the reverse, all right? Very interesting here, all right? Um, they could be also having hope about you. That could be the case here, okay? This could also be healing. They could be seeing you as healing. This is what this is, yeah. They're seeing you as healing um, from a third party. Wow. Okay, the current situation between you guys is the Four of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So, you know, the Four of Wands, the Happy Home, is, is the marriage card, okay? But it is also, it is next to the Eight of Wands. So I feel like the current situation is that there is change between whoever you are, whoever you are or were dealing with, all right? There is change here. It's interesting, right? And I'm going over to Vimeo right now, guys. The videos are only $8.99 to see all of your extendeds. You can cross-watch if you want. Talking about the challenge, what they are hiding, fearing, the best-case scenario between you guys, and also their true intentions in love, okay? Thank you so much, Sagittarius.